So, you know, for my first single, I thought, let me dedicate this to somebody that everybody loves. You know, somebody pure, kind-hearted, fair, educated. But I couldn't bloody find anyone, so I ended up calling it Piers Morgan. <laughs> When I was uh, on the wing uh, with the boys, <laughs> uh, we used to watch GMB in the mornings just to really psych ourselves up for the next prison ride. <laughs> and I remember sitting on my bunk one day, you know, sculpting a shiv out of a stale croissant, thinking, if I turn my life around, I could be on national British television, you know, spreading drill to the nation, like Jesus or Piers. Same thing. <laughs> Sipping on tea, passed me a bourbon. Had to run a man down in my willies. Now I'm on telly, Piers Morgan. A lot of rappers talk about the struggle. You know, oh, I was broke. I had to sell a weed outside of Lidl or whatever. Posh people can't relate to that. And so I thought to myself, what is the middle class equivalent? Tea and bourbons. Because trust me, if there's one thing posh people know all about, it's soggy biscuits. <laughs> I'm like Piers, because I got more dough than female deers. And the whole game got my name in their mouth, like those Turkish veneers. I know some people will say the plural of deer is actually deer. You know, you shouldn't have used an S. Listen, my jigger, the only person who shouldn't be using S's is RS. So bugger off. As for the veneers bar, we've all seen them. You know, those rappers walking around looking like a scene from The Mask. And I thought to myself, that's what it's like being unknown P. My name is always in everyone's mouth. Oh, Unknown P is so lang. Unknown P voted Brexit. You know, Unknown P G-checked Hedy One in Paper Chase. And it's all complete and utter poppycock. I mean, to be fair, Hedy One did have it coming. And I'm like Hackman, seeing him see on the block and robbing him Batman. I'm a snatcher, my new ting bad, Margaret Thatcher. So I wanted to appeal to a middle class audience, but also, you know, the urban ones. So I thought to myself, who is a black icon everybody knows and loves? Batman. And of course, had to throw it back to the uh, originator of WAP, Margaret Thatcher as well. You know, I always think to myself, if she was around today, she'd do an absolute muzzer on OnlyFans. <laughs> and I'm stacking. Caviar man snacking. I send shots via Royal Mail and I never pay for the tracking. Me and the lads have a saying, um, I don't have beef unless it's Carpaccio. <laughs> um, and if you don't know what that means, you can just Google it, because I imagine it's not something they put on the special menu in Morley's. When I do have beef, I always do it via letters, you know, because trust me, Mandem, you can do some serious emotional damage with a well-placed semicolon. On. I bleed blue so it's a Tory party I'm backing and the first name ain't Eden but I'm still a hazard when attacking. I don't really watch football to be honest, you know, far too barbaric for me. I'd rather spend the time doing something like, I don't know, chocolate tasting. Mind you, some footballers enjoy doing that as well I've seen. Uh, Jack Grealish, <laughs> Susanna Reid, I'm adoring. Big drip man's pouring, got the big stick with the corn in. When I'm on road, I'm yawning, telling my ops good morning. When you spend all day carrying a big stick around, it's bloody tiring. You know, clarting burns calories, so by the morning, I'm bloody exhausted. You could ask any of my ops, even before the most severe of chefings, if there's one thing Unknown P always has, it's manners. And that is why I'm telling my ops good morning. I got more homes than Sherlock. Your girlfriend knows when a man's on her block. And I make paper, serious paper, Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch owns just about every paper going, and so do I. I own a lot of papers. Um, different kind though, you know, Skrilla, paper of the streets. <laughs> I also do have numerous homes across the globe, um, and I've recently got planning permission from Surrey Council to build the nation's first solar powered bundo. So at least it will be nice and bright when the workers are whipping up white. <laughs> Backing up Rosemary, backing up time, and I never get caught for the crime. Asked for Zavignon Blanc, and the waitress gave man a wine. I mean, that last line is a little bit of a throw bark, as in, she actually threw it bark. Um, I was in the Ivy Brasserie, uh, think Nando's minus the bongo music, and I asked the waitress for a wine menu, and a few seconds later, out of nowhere, Philomena was gyrating up against my thigh. Quite liked it. <laughs> but you'll never catch me in the slammer. Unknown P, 5 foot 3, the drill MC with immaculate grammar. I got magazines like Glamour. So obviously I went to the slammer once, but you know, I'm a lot wiser now. So if I'm ever walking about carrying a WAP, best believe it's concealed in a country living magazine. I may not be Kano, but I've got made to the manor. On a BMT, got Britain on lock like GMB. 
Kano is a very successful Afrobeat artist and he's got a project called Made in the Manor. Um, I myself have got several French maids in my manor, so I thought, you know, why not give them a little shout out? They've all been feeling a bit down about Brexit. You know, I personally think Brexit's marvellous because I don't have to tell people to go back where they come from anymore because the law does it for me. <laughs> Piers Morgan is out now on all major streaming platforms and one P from every stream goes towards freeing Martin and Tabitha. So make sure you cop it ASAP Monday. Until next time, I've been Unknown P, aka Percy, the UK's first posh draw rapper. Tootle Pip.